Hello Virgos, welcome to your mid-February 2016 tarot reading. Um, I do hope you all have enjoyed your uh, Valentine's Day. And um, one of the messages that I'm getting for you is, um, I do feel it is going to be a little bit of a challenging next two weeks, okay? The first thing I'm picking up is, um, don't fight fire with fire. I feel that you are dealing with somebody that um, where you will get news from and it's not too favorable I feel like there's hostility there's jealousy and there might be some underlying resentment it's a deeply rooted you know um, type of communication where you know how to push each other's buttons and don't play into that game where you fight fire with fire so that would be my advice you know just turn the other cheek and walk away or um, just don't do things when you're upset, okay? And I feel like they know how to push your buttons. They know what to say to get to you. And um, they're operating from a place of insecurity as well as fear. A lot of it is fear. So you want to um, not retaliate, okay? Just turn the other way and be done with it. So um, whenever people exhibit that type of behavior, it's not meaningful to ask why it's just meaningful to accept it and accept that as the person that they are and you know try to figure out how much of it you can really tolerate and when is the breaking point and you know just try to extract yourself from it so let's see what's in store for you Okay, so we have two fours here. The first card here is the four of wands, and the four of wands indicate a relationship, especially a marriage situation. A lot of you are taking a relationship to the next level, or a lot of you are disbanding a relationship. And if you're in the process of disbanding a relationship, there are a lot of difficulties in getting the other party to communicate with you and to cooperate with you. So that would explain the communication coming through that I mentioned earlier. I feel like somebody is like, it, it seems almost like they're spewing venom. Someone is very difficult to deal with. And um, you might need a mediator or you might just need to walk away completely, okay? Because I feel like that's what's happening here. The three of coins in the foundation indicates that people are not cooperating with one another. People are operating from a place of ego rather than building something of value. They are all out for themselves, okay? So this is mo potentially multiple people involved who want a piece of the pie and they're not willing to uh, make concessions, compromise with one another. In the past position, we have the Five of Cups. This is a end of relationship. This is a card about grief, regret, sorrows, and not being able to move on. You're dealing with a lot of pain and anguish. And um, I feel like for a lot of you, within the past few months, I kept getting, you know, cards that indicate divorces, separations, you know, moving house, moving property, changing your geographical location, things like that. And I feel like you haven't had a moment's rest, okay? And I feel that at the same time, you are suffering the loss of somebody in your life, potentially a love partner or somebody that you had a, a very close link with in the past, and now you're missing their presence, okay? What is crossing you here is the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords deals with spiritual ascension. This is also a card about taking a reprieve or some type of a... Um, some type of a rest, being away from the world, being able to withdraw inward in order to get the answers that you want, and then being able to find inner peace as a result of all the upheaval going on around you. You need a moment to yourself and you need some inner peace. I do sense that for a lot of you, um, the environment around you is very destabilizing. There's a lot to do, multiple projects running concurrently, and you're very burned out. Time is a huge constraint on you as well, and as a result of it, you need to take better care of yourself. This is getting enough sleep, enough rest, not being burned out and bombarded with messages from other people, invitations for going out and things like that. I do feel, because we have both of these cards, 
a lot of you are dealing with a marriage issue, whether or not it's working out, or a lot of you are planning for a wedding, okay? Both of these cards indicate some type of bridal union energy to me. So if you are in a position where you are getting married, I do feel there's a lot on your plate and try to delegate. Try to delegate so that you yourself are not burned out and, you know, tired and exhausted and possibly even sick on your wedding day. So be very careful about that. Um, for those of you who are in relationship with a fire sign, so the fire signs are um, Sagittarius, Leo, and um, Aries. If you are in a relationship with a fire sign, I'm feeling that this is somebody who's kind of in and out of the picture, and you're not really sure if they're coming or going, and you're not really sure to what extent they are committed to you, okay? If you are dealing with the fire sign from the past that is coming back in, I do feel that they're operating from a place of, first of all, confusion, because I feel as if they're they're getting cold feet. They're not 100% invested. So you want to be very careful. So it, it seems as if to me you're kind of like starting a new phase in your life. And this person is making a return. Okay, If it's somebody from the past, you want to be a little bit careful. You want to take things very, very slowly. I do feel because they're showing up in the upright position as the knight here. They have good intentions and they might want to sincerely give it another try. But if you have somebody else in the in the works, try to make sure try and, and make sure that you give that relationship a chance before getting back with an ex. Because I don't I normally don't advise getting back with exes because if it hasn't worked out the first time, it's not going to work out the second time. And you have a lot on your plate right now. So you're not thinking uh, clearly and you're not thinking very objectively either, okay? You might look for a distraction. I do feel that somebody is, um, I do sense like you have a lot of responsibilities. And for those of you, especially planning a wedding, and you might be a little bit resentful that the other person, you know, whoever you're getting married to is not as excited about or is not even you know helping you with the log logistical aspects of this wedding planning or event planning or something like that I also feel that for a lot of you there might be some major event that you're um, you're very excited about attending and you're possibly you know one of the keynote speakers you're possibly being in the spotlight and it's going to pan out very wonderfully for you I feel that you're you're kind of uh, sharing the spotlight sharing the stage with a few people who are very drastically different from you but I do feel that it brings an interesting dynamic to this whole situation so it looks very favorable it looks very good in terms of the advice we have the king of swords and the king of swords indicates somebody who is very intelligent who is very very persuasive and charismatic as well um, as the advice I'm going to say this if you're in some type of a spotlight situation and you're a little bit concerned you're going to be just fine. You're going to be very well received. You're going to be very persuasive, eloquent, and um, you're going to be a very big hit, okay? You, whatever message you have to communicate, as long as you rehearse it, you're going to be fine. So don't worry and put all your anxieties to rest. If you are in any type of situation where you're front and center under the spotlight, you are going to be able to wow them. Additionally, I do feel that if you are in a dating environment and you have multiple options to choose from especially between a, a fire sign and an air sign it would be in your best interest to go with the air sign because this is somebody who is very much honest and um, they can be of great help to you I feel that they give out very good advice they're a very good consultant as well if you are in any type of a battle where you know you are dividing up assets probably possibly waiting on some news dealing with a person who is very difficult you might need a mediator okay if you're dealing with somebody who's quite difficult and who is operating from a place of jealousy hiding assets distorting the truth and things like that you might need a mediator in order to to um, get around this situation rather than dealing with them directly turn the other way 
hire somebody on your behalf in order to sort things out. This is a card about consultation. It's a card about, you know, relying on legal counsel as well. So that's what you might need to do in order to get the outcome to go your way because I feel like you are too emotionally invested and, and emotionally rattled as a result of this whole situation playing out. So you want to do it the smart way and the right way. Now what's in your external environment here is the Page of Wands and this is um, getting news again but the news are a little bit more positive okay so the this is basically um, when it comes to new work situation when it comes to new projects to undertake and especially when it comes to um, getting fame and success and things like that this is the messenger that you want so the sword energy deals with more of like factual information this is more about um, this is more about like possibly putting your feelers out there to see if there are investors coming in for you or people that are interested in recruiting you or people that want you to work with them in some way okay so this is more of a project base and they're definitely plentiful and they're coming through for you so this is very very good news coming in from more from like business associates and things like that so it's a little bit more um, the energy is not as jarring as like the earlier news that I announced that I uh, mentioned in terms of your hopes and fears, you're hoping to just sail away from this situation and not have to look back. This is overcoming all of your troubles, emotional turmoils, and starting over again in a different spot, okay? Um, a lot of you are thinking about travel or are traveling to see a person. So if you are traveling, potentially there is a fire sign or an air sign at the end of this voyage of yours. Or you're waiting on some news to come see them or you're waiting to see whether or not they want to take things to the next level. So I feel like there is something you're waiting on when it pertains like some type of relationship as well. In terms of the outcome, we do have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is a card about valor. This is about defending your beliefs, defending yourself, okay, and not letting, not being a doormat. This is not taking it lying down. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. And I feel as well that you're basically releasing the other person. So right now, you're not taking it personally. You're starting to realize that, okay, if there is somebody in your life, where you once had a very fruitful business or romantic relationship but no one is really wanting to cooperate at this point you're not holding on to it anymore you're not holding on to the grudges and the resentment you just want things to be fair and you just want to believe you just want to express what it is that you believe in and and regardless of whether or not people are willing to work with you I feel that for a lot of you, you're releasing the outcome, you're releasing the resentment, you're, you need to say your truths, and then you want to just move on, you don't want to be stuck in this limbo, so you want to get over this situation, you don't want people pursuing you, or sending out me messages, and just, you know, getting you riled up, and ruffling your feathers every single time, so you just want it to be done, so I feel like a little bit of the chase is happening here, okay, so this is somebody pursuing you, and you moving away, and I feel like for a lot of you, it might be an ex. For a lot of you, it might be an ex, ex partner, ex girlfriend, ex boyfriend, or I feel like for a lot of you, it might be um, a relationship, like a marriage partner that you're dealing with their residual energy, or you're dealing with some sticky situation, and you're dealing with like kind of indirect communication coming in from them. So, for example, you might have like a mediator in between and you're working through a third person. So the communication is a little bit problematic, okay, because it's being siphoned through like a, a middleman. And um, it's it might be taken out of context. It might be taken out of context or you might not understand, you know, if it's through messages or through email, you not might not be able to gauge the tone and you might misunderstand, you know, you might read a little bit too much into it or you might not understand the the tone in which they're they're trying to get the message across. Okay? So that that's what I'm sensing, some type of communication and you think it's one way but in fact it's another. So it's really important to get some type of a consultant or somebody like a, a go between to um mitigate the situation, to mitigate the situation. In terms of the advice here, in terms of the outcome, we do have the Fool card. And 
what I'm sensing here is you're in the process of letting it go. You're not hanging on so tightly anymore and you're letting it go. And I feel that you get some communication from them and it gets you riled up and you're like, no, I must fight it. So the advice here is let it go, let it go. And um, don't fight on principle anymore because I feel that the only person here that is prolonging this might be you or the only person that's, um, that's getting really wound up and riled up is you. And that's not achieving anything. So in terms of the advice, we do have this card. This is about, you know, not acting on your emotions, um, thinking with your head and using your head to solve problems, okay? Not operating from an emotional space, not operating or acting when you are upset either. So this is a very good card about temperance. It's, a, it's basically about using your head, using your cunning abilities in order to get yourself out of sticky situations okay if the other person is like sending you angry messages and you know um just to rile you up because they know you're going to react a certain way that is their tactic that's all they're doing and you have to rise above it and you also have to detach from this situation emotionally in order to move forward and not get yourself stuck in it and not get yourself worked up and angry and you know see your blood pressure rising and things like that so Virgos there is a lot of confusion around and I feel that somebody is giving you mixed signals mainly because they know how to push your buttons mainly because they're evasive okay so it is really important for you to keep a um, keep a, a, a really keep yourself very grounded which is something you, that you're very good at doing but I do sense that you want to detach your feelings from your detach your feelings from your decision-making skills that is going to go a long way for you for the next two weeks because you're going to feel very emotionally rattled and I do feel somebody is coming back from the past potentially potentially a fire sign or an air sign coming back from the past and it is really important for you not to go back to the past because the past is laden with regrets sorrows a lot of conflict and a lot of people you know who are out looking for them who are on the lookout only for themselves so you're dealing with some self-serving people here. It is really important for you to move on with your life and not look back at the past and not fight things based on the principle alone because you're dealing with people who don't really care about principle. So they, they really want to, you know, just see what they can get. I hope that makes sense. So as a result of it, you're, you're fighting a losing battle and you're wasting your time, okay? Move on with your life. Release whatever it is. You've come into some massive revelation as to some some type of significant relationship in your life as well. And the people that you're collaborating with as well. And there is going to be opportunities for you to be in the spotlight. But you really have to think on your toes. And you have to really defend your beliefs. And I do feel that, once again, not, getting yourself get, not letting yourself get emotionally riled up. Try to detach and you're going to sail through it just fine, okay? In terms of love relationships, I do have fire signs and air signs. It is up to you, but I, I honestly, if it's somebody from the past if, that you've never dated, that's fine. If it's somebody that you've dated, just go with somebody new. If they, you do have several options, go with somebody new. Um, there are going to be love messages, like um, messages containing, you know, like um, invitations and things like that. They are very fruitful and you know go with it okay don't be afraid to take on new love opportunities or even um, branching out and dating people who are a different type from you than than you're used to um, a lot of you are waiting on a very significant person I feel that with Virgos and with most people actually there is always somebody that we hold in higher esteem in our hearts okay I feel like with most people there's always one person that we like more than others and somebody that we're waiting on. I feel that a lot of you might be waiting on news from this person 
And the advice here is just to reach out, communicate, reach out and, you know, see where it goes, okay? Because I do feel that they would be very ecstatic to hear from you because external to you is somebody who's very, very happy upon receiving some type of news. So it would be really important for you to reach out and I feel that it is a, a good month overall for dating. It's a good month overall for taking a relationship to the next level and uh, also about releasing and forgiveness, okay? So Virgos, I do wish you the best for this month, um, for the next two weeks at least. I will be back in March for your March reading. If you'd like a private reading, um, visit my website. The information can be found in the description box below where you can book an, uh, an appointment for yourself, excuse me. And if you have additional questions, send me an email at temperatestar at gmail.com. I do wish you the best for this month and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.